start recording yeah I'm live record okay today I'm going to show you what am I going to show you I'm going to show you the wonderful world of YouTube what a wonder it is what a wonder how Star Wars was saved in the edit <laughs> it's trash fucking trash video now this one is good this guy this guy is an expert on swords you know the I've been observing technology and over the past 20 years especially the past 10 years this incredible amount of stuff you know like they say you know like technology um, and sciences they are growing exponentially you know have you ever studied what exponential function means that means they increase like quickly beyond your expect ex expectation like beyond you can possibly imagine like quickly they they can beyond human comprehension uh, that's what exponential uh, growth means now e exponential growth is a classification of a function basically you have um, po polynomials like powers x squared x third power x hundredth power first of all you have linear linear is just uh, you know grows linearly like a line like you know you you may grow this fast or this fast or this fast or that's linear function then you have power function which is x squared or x to the nth power like that then you have exponential now exponential is basically like that they 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 um they grow they become a vertical line very very fast so there's a story classic story about the uh, unexpected quantity of exponential function is that you know in some ancient times in Greek or Rome where um, the king needs some problem to be solved and uh, some Joe you know solved the problem and the king asked what reward do you want I can give you anything you want and the guy says okay I don't want too much I don't want you know much but on a chessboard chessboard you know on the first square you put a rice then on the second square you put two rice on the each time you um, let's see on the second square you put two rice on the third square you put um, eight rice is that right uh, yeah and on the th fourth square you put 16 rice fifth 32 then 64 then 128 then uh, 256 so each time you, you multiply by 2 okay and uh, yeah that's exponential so you know until um, all the chess squares are you know filled there are 64 chess squares you know 8 by 8 8 times 8 is 64 then so you go on this uh, so basically the answer is 2 to the 64th power so let's see go land let's try let's try, try to compute it so I'm going to create a file save it xx okay save it xx dot go okay so this is Golan and uh, I'm going to do uh, I forgot what's the exponential function in Go uh, no okay Golan so let's search then line exponential function no you know the exponential function is a problem in many languages because they usually in the math package and uh, the syntax I mean it's you know it's problematic I mean it's not standardized so let's see and sometimes it's called power sometimes it's called exponential um,
Okay, anyway, let's see. Two, I don't think that work. Invalid indirect of two. Okay, yeah, that's some kind of pointer or something. I, I hate the fucking pointers. Oh, there it is. Exponential x float x float 64 let's see uh what's the difference exponential x float 64 exponential 2x float 64 what, what the fuck is the difference oh e to the x Oh, one one of them is um, base two exponential. That's not what we want. We 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 want the power function. Then let's go to power. Uh, o p q r. So o p q n p. Po. Fucking stupid name. Oh God. Okay, so. The function is math dot po lowercase so two to the third power that should be eight yes please two to the fourth power sixteen two to the sixty fourth power oh you know that's one followed by nineteen zeros. You know, one followed by nineteen zero. So let's type nineteen zeros. Uh, nineteen zero. What? Okay, nineteen zero. Uh, okay, wait. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, replace t by zero. Okay. So it's something like that. One eight. So normally one two three. So that's that number. So that's K. M. So let's write it out. Uh, God. That's K. That's M. That's uh, G. That's tetra, I think. So wait. So yeah, th so that's one thousand. One thousand. You have one million. Then you have one giga. Then you have um. Fuck. Uh, then you have one tetra. You know, basically the number becomes um so huge that's beyond the number of rises in the universe is that actually true um yeah but anyway you can look up let's say let's look up the story Oh uh, yeah, there it is. Sing uh, blah blah blah. But I want to go to Wikipedia. Uh, wheat and chessboard problem. Okay, the wheat and chessboard problem, sometimes expressed in terms of rice grains, is a mathematical problem problem expressed in textual form as in the chessboard blah blah blah. Uh, the problem may have may be solved using simple addition. Uh, but I want the story. Okay, orange. The problem appears in different stories about the invention of chess. One of them includes the geometric progression problem. The story is first known to have been recorded in 1256 by Ibn 
Kalikang. Another another version has the inventor of chess. In some telling, Sessa, an Asian Indian minister, requests his ruler give him wheat according to the wheat and chessboard problem. Uh, 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 uh. The ruler laughs it off as a meager prize for a brilliant invention, only to have court treasurers report that unexpectedly huge number of wheat grains would could would outstrip the ruler's resources. Okay, so it's a legend. It's not actually a true story. Yeah. Okay. So it's a legend. Okay, but say, but you know, what is the? Oh, it's not just this number. It's the addition, the sum of the exponentials. Is so. It's not just this number. <laughs> okay. Uh, The Ray Kurzweil guy is a is a uh, a cook. I never liked anything he says. Like any, I'm interested in futurology. You know, I mean the future, the future of humanity as with regard with respect to technology, uh, and that's a broad topic, and it it's also a, a permanent topic. I mean, throughout history, it's a um, you know, general topic philosophers discuss. Now, especially in, in our century, I mean, today, uh, it's especially relevant because technology has become to the point of um, no return, shall we say, you know, because we have artificial intelligence. Now, you know, the Google Alpha Zero AI, you know, a machine that beats uh, Chinese, you know, top Go players, the Go game. That you know, the Go game is supposed to be the problem that decides. You know, if that is solved, you know, if machine can beat humans in Go, then we say that artificial intelligence is here. You know, that has always been the ultimate problem. Um, considered a good example of a good, you know, ultimate problem of artificial intelligence, and now. It's 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 done. You know the machine beats human by an absolute certainty. In fact, uh, estimated by chess by 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 the Go experts, you know m the machine is uh, quite a lot stronger than human. You know it's it, this is a harder problem than chess. You know chess was solved. I mean the machine speed chess. Champion, world champion, like uh, twenty years ago, officially, and after that, you know, basically no human can beat chess, uh, uh, machine uh, chess. I mean, even uh, just the common chess software running on your PC, like it doesn't matter what champion you are, you lose it, like more than half of the time. Half of the time, you know, doesn't matter how good you are, uh, doesn't matter how mad. You you are about chess. What a genius! It doesn't matter. You lose to a you know average chess software running on your PC. Even against its champions. Well, I mean against its champions, they run a little bit powerful uh, PC. You know, like eight processors or something. But basically, yeah, you know, the chess machines beats human. <laughs> like for easily, trivially, hundred uh, percent, you know. So it be has become to the state. So, but few years, but the cha challenge against um, machine versus human for the Go game is uh, remained open until you know two years ago, AlphaGo beats human, and uh, since since then there are other um, Go. Uh, software that came up that uses uh, Google's um, that learns from Google's um, you know AI technology the neural networks uh, and and indeed it just beats humans you know by quite far you know like like there's quite a gap 
that human cannot you know machines ahead of a uh, human that's so that's that's just incredible you know i have been watching the games uh like three years ago when when alpha go uh, competes with the japanese uh one of the top players then the next year the alpha go cha challenges the chinese guy uh, he was the world champion considered the number one and uh, the machine won um and since you know i have also been uh, you know reading comments and watching youtube's ex explanations about go um and the the machine is just beyond human right now i mean there's no chance for human to catch up to machines as far as playing go is concerned again you know just like chess so that is incredible that i mean that's truly truly incredible i mean you know so as you know so i've been ob so back to you know previous topic we were talking about i've been observe observing technology you know i want to know uh I, you know i'm curious about where is humanity going you know what happens to society as you know te technology and machines become smarter and smarter uh, so you know it's called futurology you know something like that you know the who studies future or you know trying to and, and also involved are things like prediction you know uh, how can you predict is prediction good or you know how accurate would it would are they and uh, you know you look at past predictions and and you know so many you know aspects of, about these you know looking into futures uh, you know where is humanity going you know it, it, it's let's just say where is human animals going you know i like to use the word human animals instead of humanity and, or you know human beings especially human beings you know th those are euphemisms and they are basically they are just fake 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 words words created created to pretend to hide something else you know we want to say human beings instead of human animals because you know we like to sometimes we don't want to say um uh you know we want to like give give it give it a little color of you know how we are high uh, different beings from god or something else you know that are different from other animals but but actually if you you know if you are not religious person and you believe in science you know as much as possible then basically it's just human animals i mean human human is animal like other animals we are you know organisms that we we need to eat and you know ingest food and turn that into energy and we live and we sex and we have children and we die you know in in basically you could say in almost all regards you know a human animal is, is just an animal and but some people like to say oh human animal is the only one you know uh, that has such an and such discreet uh discreet distinguish distinguishing properties you know such as such as such as intelligence in africa <laughs> you know and that's that's all bullshit you know sometimes or, or sometimes they say human human animals differ from others because we have uh, well intelligence or we have conscious consciousness uh, or we have um, or we can feel pain or we have emotions or we have self-awareness i think actually it's all bullshit you know uh you, you you don't know i mean some of these concepts uh, are defensible i mean arguable for example uh self awareness you know but uh no actually that's actually false you know first of all these concepts like self awareness it's actually hard to define you know there's no uh, universal definition there's no concrete mathematical definition that that says okay this is self self-awareness and that does not qualify there's no such so the uh, same thing with intelligence and so we just have some rough ideas like uh but <laughs> but why you know like why, why can't you just 
you know, take it as is that that we are just ham animals. Why do you have to like find a distinction? Well, partly because psychology, you know, again, psychology is another science. You know, we we don't like so we don't know things about the universe, the great mysteries of the universe. We so we study, and we um. Let's see. Uh, so we study and we, you know, we learn things about all aspect of things. Um, so anyway, so so back to uh, yeah, psychology. Oh yeah, the one of the reason is that you know, psych psychologically, you know, if we feel better if we are like different from other animals, like pigs or you know, or cattle or dogs, you know. Oh, otherwise, you know, we feel, you know, if we are the same as pigs, then it seems like we slaughter pigs all the time, like daily, like we have a slaughtering farm. We we raise them up, they have a family, go have a girl, girlfriend, go have a boyfriend, and fuck, and they have children, and you make sure you eat well, then we kill you and eat you. <laughs> Once you have a baby, you know, then you, you know, you, you, you has you start next generation. But we eat you. So those so, so cows and you know, the pigs and cows and beef and you know, uh, you know cattle and uh, bulls and oxen, you know, and then then also we somehow make a distinction for dogs or cats, you know. Now can is cat meat you know uh, i don't know about cat meat but dog meat you know we uh, dogs we somehow make a distinction especially the western society okay the the white people uh what about black people i don't know what about red skin people i don't know but anyway so but in, in particular the western society which is in general considered the white people you know they so they make a distinction about dogs or, or a horse for that matter horse you know they somehow the dogs are loyal so therefore uh, you don't you know you don't kill them and eat them but dogs for example in chi china you know we eat them we eat it no problem there is no problem <laughs> uh, now what what about cats you know I don't think we eat. Well, I mean, I'm sure some some Chinese or some regions or in some times in some some past we eat cats. But I mean, that's that's an interesting interesting question. Why do we uh, don't eat cats or do we eat cats? I mean, we don't hear that as much though. But dogs, yes, we do eat at least some places. Um, then yeah, so we make a decision, but but why? But why? You know, you wonder why? You know, and uh, is it, you know, for biological reasons or symbiotic reasons? You know, because dog and man are basically we we say yeah, we are friends. You know, usually you don't eat your friends uh, because once you eat your friends, even if you know your friend is dead. It begins the path, you know, begins the path because sometimes you are friend, but maybe you have some fight about something, a quarrel. Then, then, then because you do eat other people, then suddenly you think, fuck, you know, I'm hungry now. I mean, <laughs> why not just <laughs> kill him and eat it, him, eat him? So, so that begins the path that gives you the idea, you know. So, so maybe th maybe that is why we don't you know we don't eat our friends so that includes dogs you know uh but uh yeah but well it's interesting look to look up you know why don't we eat cats but on the other hand we eat you know whales yeah whales you know they eat in Japan or in Finland or so something like somewhere there uh, Scandinavia maybe I don't know, maybe in England, but they do, and uh, I think even in America, I guess well, I don't know for sure, but um, you know, but in, maybe in Alaska, you know, people do eat, you know, 
whales, and whale is, is generally considered more of a good guy, you know, the good guy, you, you don't want to kill whales, <laughs> you, you don't want to eat them, um, and, and, well, we also eat octopuses, like, okay, in America, the white people eat octopuses all day, you can, you know, or seafood, uh, you can eat lobsters and octopuses and squids, but know that octopus is actually one of the most intelligent animal. Um, okay, so if you, you know, test the intelligence of animals, you know, besides human animals, uh, octopus is like on the top. Uh, well, there's also dolphins and uh, cats and dog are kind of stupid and some birds are also on the top. So crows, for example, crows and octopus and uh, they are intelligent that means surprisingly that mean they can oh my god they can you know do things this so there's a lot you know today you can see a lot of stories on uh, also on youtube uh i mean verified accounts not just uh saying or legend you know they cats i mean uh, the octopus you know they and and the crows and they 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 are extremely uh intelligent they actually they actually can uh octopus can actually recognize people recognize people uh i don't know by what means is it by sight or by by voice by vocal um by by sound or by uh maybe smell i don't know but oct octopus can recognize people uh, like I've read a story that you know, like if you go, if you go, uh, you know, in aquarium, aquarium, you meet, you walk in aquarium, and you know an octopus. I mean, you, you go there, and he record. I mean, like, if you are a scientist, you know, you 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 don't, you know, you maybe you visit the oct octopus once a year or something, and he, the octopus recognizes you. You know, like this. So, so there's a story saying this uh, female, I think, walks in and oct the octopus uh, s squeeze, uh, squish water on, on her. Something, you know. Y anyway, and uh, yeah. So um, octopus is extremely intelligent. So yeah, we so and we make a difference. Uh, wait, wait, but but we do eat octopus, you know. Um, well, so what, you know, what make, what do you make of it? You know, why should we eat this or not eat that? Actually, all things considered, the rational reason, I mean, the typical conventional reasons does not make sense. It must, um, but there, there is a, a scientific, or you know, we can explore the reasons why we don't. Uh, usually, not not the not the moral reasons given. Typically, moral reasons, but rather, it's because biology or you know psychology or you know the social like social science like the, we are connected. We depend on each other. Things like that. And sometimes it's for religious religious reasons. For example, some religions they don't they don't eat cows, and other religions they don't eat pigs. <laughs> you know, they just they just don't. You know, and then then okay, then in America you don't eat dogs. You know, it's just like oh no, you, you how dare you? You cannot eat dogs, but in China they do, and uh, then. And then we eat whales in some places. Then we eat octopuses all the time. Um, well, or squid of some sort. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And uh, then, um, so you consider the whole. I don't. I don't think it makes sense. But okay. So yeah. So we're talking about human human animals. But back to the uh, futurology future. Futurology. So, um, yeah, and back to the exponential problem, and back to whatever I was saying. I was talking about something, 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 Golan, and something. Uh, I forgot. 
I forgot what what we talking about. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I was saying. So I was saying I was you know observing. You know, I like to observe. I'm the script kind of guy. I'm a, I'm a, a, a historian. You know, so you observe and you and you record it. You know, as is. You know, without euphemisms, without you know, you know, pretension, trying to uh, hide something. You write down things, and so I'm looking. So yeah, so I was thinking. I was looking at the, the you know. Observing future of humanity. So, in the past ten years, this incredible amount of of technological advances. So I was saying, yeah, sciences and technology, they are they have been growing exponentially in the past twenty years. Now, especially technology is such that why why do they grow exponentially? Because once you know some, especially technology, okay. Once you know that you know science, for example, math, you know a lot. Then, what do you know helps you to know what you don't know yet. Then you know that. Then that adds to it. That then you can you can find out more about what you don't know. That's why they grow exponentially. Now, especially technology,、um, technology such as you know computers. But you know everyday things like plastics.、Um, Soda bottles, you know, like like that. You know, there's tremendous te technology in this thing. You know,、um, sometimes you can read an article in Scientific America. You know, I, I remember there there was this America、uh, Scientific Scientific America article about this. You know, just everything, everyday things like even a pen. There's there's actually quite tremendous technology. Although this is like old technology. But you know, just imagine the convenience is in this thing. You know, it just so like before you use, you know, you use, you know, a quill or you know, a, a, a ink pen. You have to inject ink and make mess. But now with this and with modern paper, you just write and write. You just write, and so what is the impact of that? You know, on the whole. So this is tremendous impact. So this is just one invention. Then we have now computers, like personal computers, you know, at home. Tremendous impact. Then you know now, and we have the phone, iPhone, you know,、uh, Android phone or smartphone. Beginning with Apple's iPhone, you know, a, you know, Apple's iPhone is not the first, but it's the first to make it extremely popular because Apple has a knack. You know, Apple is good. Steve Steve Jobs, not Apple, but Steve Jobs, the guy that he he has the ability to make something extremely popular. To to uh, uh for uh, for example, mouse mouse is、uh, his invention and, and lots of CD player and well of course CD and DVD player are good now, but、uh, USB um there lots of things you know a desktop publishing. But anyway, so um so computers they. So iPhone and with iPhone, then now everyone can、uh, video chat. You know, remember twenty years ago, if you want to call to China to speak to your friends or in Europe, one minute per call, one minute is like five dollars or ten dollars US US dollar. Like today's dollar is like twenty dollars something every minute. And but but now with the internet, you know. It's like almost it's basically free. You talk to anyone. Plus, with a、uh, video screen, you can see your dad or your friends or your grandma, you know,、uh, or or grandson, you know, all over the world. You know, and, and it's also it's basically basically free.、Uh, so it's it's tremendous.、Um, so I mean, you don't think about it much, but think about what. What is the impact to the humanity, on the whole, or focus on aspect? What is the impact of this、um, cell phone on, on the sciences, on the growth of sciences, or more specifically on programming languages,、uh, or you know, and you know, and we have things like Wikipedia. You know, Wikipedia. I've been observing, you know, starting with it, you know, two thousand two or two thousand two thousand three. 
in the beginning, you know, Wikipedia linked to many of my website articles on, on math, plane curves, hyperbola. <coughs> you know, and uh, then I, I thought, hey, what what the fuck is this, Wiki, you know, Wikipedia? What, what is that? So, you know, and they their information is, you know, scanty. I have, you know, back then I have lots of sites linked to, linked to my website because my website was like a Wikipedia, you know, for for certain math and some programming, you know, it's part of the internet, you know, we, some of us, you know, are early birds in blogging, you know, before there's a word blog, you know, so we write a lot, we write what we know, and so anyway, Wikipedia came up, and I've, so I've been reading Wikipedia starting in 2006, or somewhere around there, almost every day, uh, half an hour a day, on average, I'm talking about you know, starting from let's say 2005 to today, if you average out all the times I spend on Wikipedia, it's maybe half an hour or an hour a day. So I've read, you know, five, ten articles a day. <coughs> uh, and so, but I observe, so the, the information today, I mean, even in 2010, the information is greater than almost any book, even uh, specialized math topics, like esoteric math topics. But today it's even more. I mean, it's it's even more. I mean, I mean, so, so what's the impact, you know, like ten, in, in year 2000s, if I want to know something, I go to the library and maybe look up the Britannica, you know, encyclopedia there. And, and lots of research. You have to go to the library, you know, you drive there or walk there. You know, it takes half an hour or an hour, go to there. Then sit there and, you know, find the book you need, find the information, you know, this index cards or whatever. Then you have to read it, or maybe this is not what you want. You have to find in another book or check the reference. Okay, that's a citation. You go find that book, you know, to, to, to find the answer of what you are, you know, your question. But today it's like, oh my God, this is a Wikipedia, like within one second, within, you know, five seconds, you basically find the information you need. It doesn't matter, almost doesn't matter what, how esoteric it is, how specialized, you find it within five, five seconds. And uh, the content, the way it is written, the writing quality, the information density, the uh, including special, I'm talking about including specialized information, not general information. Specialized, what do you mean? For example, topics in mathematics or programming. You know, we are programmers, right? And we we talk about programming languages, Go, Perl, Unix, or uh, HTTP protocols, or TCI, TCP IP protocols. And, and in, on Wikipedia, they have in-depth details. I mean, th these are like specialized um, knowledge like we are in this in the field so we know but to most people that's just like incomprehensible but the information is there and similarly for mathematics you know so uh, graduate mathematics you know uh, you find information in Wikipedia and 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 I and in general it's actually even better than professional written graduate math textbooks Actually, that is true. Okay, for most, for I would say more than half of the topics for in graduate mathematics, graduate graduate meaning like after PhD, uh, well, well after uh, four years of college majoring in math. But I mean, they also contain research math. Anyway, the point is. The point is, yeah, you know, this incredible amount of information, quality information. So, within five seconds, oh, well, not you know, within five minutes. Let's say you know, yesterday, you know, in the past few days, I was reading about swords, you know, like swords and and uh, and uh, rapier and sabers, you know, and Chinese swords, Chinese dao and jet. So you know, I'm a nerd, so I'm interested, you know in swords, you know, fighting swords or weapons or all kind of spheres and weapons. And, and and swords swords in particular, because swords have the high esteem, you know, it's just uh, more dramatic.
but yet it's actually less practical. The most practical weapon is actually the sphere uh, or some kind of pole arm, you know, it's it's more effective. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I'm a nerd, so I'm in interested in swords. So I've been reading Wikipedia or elsewhere on the internet for swords or Japanese swords, you know, katana, you know, that's the most fame popular, you know, katana. Every movie wants to talk about that. Uh, so yeah, I've been reading and I thought, you know, I read a lot about them, you know, you know, over the years, you know, as a hobbit, uh, hobby, you know, like, like, you know, you just find the topic interesting. So you casually, you know, every time, every day, or every time you, you saw some article about it and you go read about it. And so, you know, you classify swords, you know, especially Japanese katana, which is a Japanese sword, you know. Uh, you know, you see it, you see, you've seen it in movies. And, you know, they, they give the technical terminology of each part of the sword, how they are made, and you think, uh, and by the way, before the days of Wikipedia, there's FAQs about ab about katana and, and this kind of topic. So basically, nerds go into detail about how they are made, you know. The, you know, it's, it involves quite tremendous technology of sword making. You know, you have different kind of alloys, you know, you want to make them so that it's hard or flexible or it doesn't get dual, you know, you don't have to sharp it, sharpen it so often. So this is tremendous technology in it and science in it. But yeah, so you read about it. But today, so Wikipedia today, it's tremendous, you know, the, the information has gone far up. Uh, even compared to 10 years ago, a far up, like you read it about swords, you know, you can, you can just read it, we go to Wikipedia right now and, uh, you know, type swords. Then you have the classification, you know, different cultures, different words for different type of swords in what era, how they are made, and uh, why well, it ties to culture, you know. Um, yeah, so, so it's, and, and uh, yeah, so, and also with pictures, I mean, also, you know, before when on the subject of swords, it tends to be nerds talking about swords. Like nerds, they just want to talk about swords, and they, you know, knights and you know, knights in shiny armors, or how to sword fight, or uh, katana versus you know, uh, uh, fencing sword, you know, with things like that. But today's Wikipedia, it has actually more uh, truth. I mean. So, I mean, that's an interesting aspect, but that's not the, you know, that's not the only topic or primary aspect it focuses on. So on, Wiki, on Wikipedia, you talk about archaeology um, evidence, like it doesn't talk about just about, you know, nerd's interest, but rather, yes, nerd's interest, but also the history of swords, I mean, with proofs or evidence to back it up like this is in what period and this is and so we have a picture this is in how this sword is found what year it is made like a thousand years ago or two thousand years ago and uh, where it is today in what museums or whatever and uh, you know so there's like archaeology so it's like history so you actually you know you know, you see the history as aspect, you know, uh, as it should be, you know, it's not just swords, but all sort of weapons and, and how, um, how uh, human animals fight, you know, their formation or whatever, you know, the tactics and, you know, so it's not just, you know, nerds interest us in, you know, dragon and, you know, dragons and princes and swords. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you know, so uh, it's the so you see the whole history and the uh, the thing, things like that, especially like Chinese weapons. You know, Chinese, we have we have kind of many weird weapons, weapons, and before uh, you know, kind of swords and hooked sword or you know, weird shape. And before you know, you, when you when you you run into any article about them, usually it's from kung fu you know, Kung Fu, uh, related to Kung Fu uh, forum or group, you know, they talk about the Kung Fu stuff. But what you actually want is the outside over overview, the comprehensive overview of the 
the whole humanity and history, not just kung fu or kung fu. This style is good or that style is good. You know, not the dram dr dramatic things. But anyway, so um, so today on Wikipedia, even if you look at Chinese swords, it 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 you know it has the historical information. But however, some of the more exotic Chinese swords, you know, they still like mostly they talk they are talked in the context of kung fu this you know this style kung fu uses this and how it is used it's limited to that uh, point of view that's not good but so you know in the next five or ten years that will also be improved uh, because you know and why why because smartphone you know technology you know so you you know normally you don't think about it but today you can talk to Chinese people you don't know you can talk to European people you don't know you know people 10,000 miles away you can actually not just talk to them know them you can chat to them face to face uh, so you know that's incredible amount of communication so information exchange that's how is part of the reason you know Wikipedia becomes so good and all other things imperceptible I mean the thing about exponential growth the the growth of tech of technology is that you know each person we live in our day life you know we only see this much things you know we are focused in our jobs or family or whatever our culture you know we are like our culture is like kind of like a region we just live here we can only see this far you know you cannot see 10,000 miles away but now you can you know you actually can with smartphone and all that you know uh, with webcams and all that now you can so so this communication so you can you know talk to um, like I don't know about you but well I'm Chinese right so I can well I can I can I never been to Europe for example but I can if I want to I don't I don't know much about Germany for example I don't know actually I don't know not much about England for example I don't know much about Africa or Islamic countries or you know uh, you know Middle East countries I don't know anything about them not much you know um, but but now if I want to I could actually you know start to know a lot of thing about them because for example let's say I want to know about Islamic uh, Middle East country you know I don't you know you, you can look at the map there are different countries they act they are actually they are not they're actually different you know they, they they have different it's like if you are a white person you might be confused you know about Chinese and Japanese or Korean you know you might you know to you they are just oh they are just Asian they they must be together you know they are alike but actually no we are not alike you know when you know people get angry offended when you you know when you can if I confuse for example English people and French people <laughs> they are not friends you know this is in the same way you know even Chinese and Japanese and Korean they are like neighbors but they are not exactly friends you know uh, so I don't know anything about Middle East for example so I could if I want you know pick like let's say pick a specific country uh, uh, you know they have many countries you know uh, okay Iraq okay because Iraq is the mo one of the most popular because we had Iraq war 10 years ago so let's say Iraq so I can actually know you know I can contact you know I can let's say dive into their forum and talk to them you know some of them speak English and I can video chat with them Although you know there's political issues that kind of restricted restrict it because you know the Middle East and, and America and Western they are you know not exactly friends <clears throat> so but anyway so but in general you can you know you know a particular for example you, if you are a white person or a black person you can if you want if you are interested in Chinese you know about China for example um, you know 
don't you know there's lots of articles about China on, on US news every day that's usually bullshit but what you can do if you are really interested is, is actually go talk to the people you know in China who lives in China I did I didn't you know I've never set my set foot on in China but I talked to because I want to understand you know I was born in Taiwan so I you know I'm curious I you know after all, I'm Chinese so I want to understand how Ch China people or the programmers there is like you know so you go there I mean you online you can go into their forums where it's you know like kind of local Chinese you know programming forums and you talk to them then you know how they what how they see or how they feel so how the situation is like you can learn and you can you know ask them to show you photos because in different regions you know their daily life is different from your daily life in your region in USA or whatever you are um, they see lots of other things and they have their own concerns and issues and politics you know they are dramas and whatever so it's but it's different it's typically different from yours so you want to go there mix them you know mix in and talk to them and they you you see a different world you know you see different they are, they are different concerns the website they use you know you know what are the things they talk about every day so yeah that's and that's technology okay so we've been talking for like I don't know how long for 40 minutes or is it an hour uh, You know, I have a cross-eyed problem. I think I had this problem since young, since I'm young. But um, it's kind of on and off. It's not too serious. But you, but when I'm tired, or sometimes when I was like twenty something, after I swim, I was on the swimming team, you know, in college, <laughs> and after I walk out, my eyes would go cross. So it's you know it's. Uh, but but not all the time but but sometimes now I just you know it feels better if I just cover one of my eye uh, so I'm you know this is just toilet paper you just fold it up and uh, very practical this is practicality and efficiency with consideration of efficiency because a toilet paper is one dollar one dollar a row and you can just you have a thousand replaceable pieces and that just work and also in consideration of comfort you know but though one flaw is that it's not aesthetic uh, but, but well, you don't talk about aesthetics about that after all this is you know <laughs> this is not aesthetic you know the aesthetic is you know you have to prettify yourself you know put on contact lenses or have eye surgery risk of going blind and then you look pretty oh god I'm pretty yes yes okay okay so we've been talking about technology and technology and technology and technology what else so I was going to talk about yeah okay originally I was going to talk about certain videos I've watched yeah but okay so that's it for today okay uh, yeah yeah that's it for today bye